Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Rogue ST Woods and Irons from Callaway. It was a simply spectacular Saturday in Southern Pines. Blue skies, warm temperatures, just a perfect day to make a move here at the U.S. Women's Open. As we welcome you in with me, Cara Banks, and this, your Golf Central update. We are now through three rounds of the U.S. Women's Open, presented by ProMedica. And after 54 holes, it is the Australian Minji Lee in prime position for what would be her second major championship victory. The 26-year-old heads into Sunday with that three-stroke lead after a 67 today included, well, five birdies on the card. Plenty of big names on the leaderboard as well as Mina Haragai, who has been up there since opening with a round of 64 on Thursday. Ingrid Lindblad, the amateur, still on that front page after she stole the headlines with her own 65 on Thursday. 71, 71, and she is in the hunt as well. But let's hear from our leader with Amy Rogers. Minji a 67 here on moving day, including four straight birdies there at the turn to take a three stroke lead. How would you describe the round overall? Um, yeah, I mean, I was pretty solid all day. I mean, I was trying to, I was making pars when I needed to. Um, I made one bogey, but um, followed it up with um, four birdies kind of at the turn. So yeah, it was really nice to get those going and then um, finished with all pars. So yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. You came from seven strokes back to win your first major championship at the Amande Evian Championship. This time you're the one taking a big lead into the final round. How does it feel different? I mean, totally different. I mean, Evian, I was kind of in a go mode, you know. I was trying to make as many birdies as I could, um, trying to catch up. But, you know, um, it is the U.S. Open, and three-shot lead is, um, you know, it's a nice cushion, but it's not enough to, you know, let your heart come down so I think um, just I'm going to be really focused tomorrow um, take each shot as it comes and then just try and execute the 100 percent um, what I'm thinking. Do you feel like you're going to need to still stay pretty aggressive here on Sunday given that you said that it's a nice cushion but obviously you don't want to lose that? I mean for sure I'm just going to do what I can um, just be focused on my own game and just take one shot at a time I mean I think um, on the par fives I can be pretty aggressive um, and you know the shots some of the shots you have wedges in so I think in uh, on those holes you can be pretty aggressive congratulations on the great round today good luck tomorrow thank you well, all three previous champions of the U.S. Women's Open here at Pine Needles have held uh, the 54-hold lead outright, much like Minji Lee does today. Christy Kurz was a slim one just by a stroke. Kar Kari Webb, Minji's countrywoman, had a five-stroke advantage, and it was a three-stroke advantage for Annika. All three of them converted the victory. We will see what Minji Lee does tomorrow. Meanwhile, over on the PGA Tour, it was Billy Horschel's day as he stormed to a five-stroke advantage after firing a bogey-free 65. Billy is in search of his seventh victory on the PGA Tour, and he caught up with our Todd Lewis. An incredible day by Billy Horschel, 65. You haven't had a bogey here in this tournament since your 10th hole in the first round. Whether it's mentally, mechanically, strategically, what are you doing so well here? Um... I sound like a broken record I've been talking about with everyone so far, but just the process. Um, Fuchs and I work so well together. I think we were both just upset over the last two weeks that we haven't really done our work, you know, when it comes down to hitting a golf shot, being very clear of where we're trying to land it, um, the shot we're trying to hit, talking about maybe if it's this club or that club, um, and, then, and then choosing the best option. And, and I think when we, I know when we do that, I, it's not think, I know when we do that, it just gives me a little bit, it gives me a clearer picture, it gives me a higher level of acceptance that the shot doesn't come off or I don't make the right swing. Um, I can accept that we did everything right up, leading up to it. Um, and I think that's what we've done well this week. We've gone back to what we did earlier this year. Um, I think we both were upset that we missed a cut last week when we shouldn't have. A couple bad course management decisions from us. Um, but at the same time, we know what we do well as a team, and if we do that, then it gives us the best chance to succeed on every shot. You were fortunate to let me walk with you in a practice round earlier this week, and I did see a determination from both of you. Is This sounds like there was a, a commitment issue prior to this week. Am I wrong there? Um, I, I think it was, yeah, commitment over the golf shot. Right. Commitment over what we were trying to do on every shot. Um, I move quick. I want to get the shot. I want to go. I want to hit the shot. I don't, I don't like waiting around a lot of times. 
Um, and there's times that sometimes even on the most basic golf shot, uh, you know, I, I can move. I think it's so easy. We don't need to talk a lot about it. But um, it just the last two weeks, I haven't been very committed over shots. And, and so we had a conversation that, uh, you know, I initiated last week. It was nothing bad. It was just, a, you know, just talk about what we need to do better as a team. And we both, you know, pretty much said the same thing. It's nothing mechanically. It's nothing what we're doing in our prep work. It's just when we get down the golf course, I'm moving a little too quick. And um, we're just not very clear enough uh, before we hit hit a golf shot on what we're trying to do. I don't think let's look into tomorrow's round. You were going to have a pretty significant lead heading into Sunday. How much comfort does that give you? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm just really happy with how I'm playing. Very happy with what we're doing. And, um, you know, it has nothing to do with mechanically. It has nothing to do with the way I'm putting. I just think I'm just very happy with what we're doing leading up to the golf shot. And I think if we can do that tomorrow, continue what we've done the last three days, um, I think that's going to give us I, – I know that's going to give us the best chance to succeed, and I think we're going to play really, really well tomorrow. Um, and we're going to play the way we have the last three days. Nothing's going to change. Um, you know, I've been out here for 13 years. I know what it's like to have a lead. I know what it's like to come from behind. Um, so I know, you know, the emotions I'm going to feel. You know, I know I'm going to.